Hi everybody, Julie Miller here from Premier Fitness. I've got a standing stretches routine for you today. This is good for if you're seated a lot, if you're hunched over a computer or a sewing machine or whatever you do. This is good to just stand up. It takes about four minutes to stand up and then get these stretches going. The first one is called a reach and press. So your feet are going to be about hip width distance apart. We're gonna take our hands facing up towards the ceiling. We're gonna reach in front of us, flip our palms and press toward the ceiling, and then we're gonna float our arms down. So take that again, palms facing up. We're reaching up, flip our palms, press toward the ceiling, getting that stretch in the, in the side of your body and bring it down nice and gently, good. One more time, flip your palms up, Flip your palms toward the ceiling and stretch, bring it down nice and easy. Next stretch is called bow and arrow. So we're gonna bring our hands up, we're gonna do a bow and arrow formation. So we're gonna stretch out that left arm. As we're stretching out, we're gonna gently bring your right arm back, looking over that left arm. Then we're gonna release and bring it down. Now the other side, cross in front, pull it apart. Stretch, reach over that right arm, and slow it down. Let's do a couple more times. Bring it up, pull it apart, look over that arm, float it down. Again, bring it up, pull it apart, bring that other arm back, and float it down. Nice job. Third little exercise is called a spinal twist. So standing with your feet planted firmly, I'm gonna look over my right shoulder, then I'm gonna turn my shoulders, and then I'm gonna turn my hips. Now from here, I'm going to turn my hips, my shoulders, and then my head back to center. So to practice on the other side, turn your head first, then turn your shoulders, and then your hips. To bring it back, Bring your hips, and then your shoulders, and then your head. So as you're, as you're turning the different parts of the body, your head should be able to see further behind you. Let's do that again a couple more times on each side. So starting with your head, over to the right, turn your shoulders, turn your hips. Now hips back, shoulders, and head, right to the left. Head, shoulders, and hips, hips, shoulders, and head. Good spinal twist. Up one more time on each side. Bring back those hips, those shoulders, and that head. Last time on the left. So look over that left shoulder, turn those shoulders, turn those hips. Bring those hips back, those shoulders, and that head. Nice. Nice little spinal twist. This last one, we're going to stagger our feet. So stagger your feet, kind of like both feet are facing forward. I want your shoulders to be square, hip square with your hips. So everything's stacked, nice and nice and even on top of each other. I'm going to bend forward from my hips to get that nice hip hinge. I'm going to take my hands. I'm going to stretch them back. So I'm stretching my hands toward the back ball, and I'm reaching forward with my chest. Good, now bring everything up. And now I'm gonna take my hands and I'm gonna reach back with my thumbs facing the back of the wall. Good, and I'm gonna bring them down again. Nice job, let's do that again. So squaring up your shoulders and your hips, hinge forward from those hips, bring those hands back, kind of like airplane arms kind of. Feel that stretch, you should be able to feel it in your hips, a little bit in the back of that leg, and obviously in the front of your chest. Now go ahead and stand it up. Bring those hands nice and wide, thumbs face back. Nice front of the shoulder stretch, and release it down. Good, now switch your feet. So I'm gonna place, face it this, facing you this time. So my feet are staggered. I'm gonna hinge forward from those hips and bring those hands back. My palms are facing down. 
Hinging forward, reaching back toward the back wall with my arms. Good, now bring everything up. I'm gonna take my arms with my thumbs facing toward the back wall. Good, and release it down. Do that again. I'll turn to the side for you. So I'm gonna hinge forward from my hips. Bring those arms up with the palms facing down. Stretching back toward the wall with my arms, stretching forward. Good, and bring it up. Make sure your hips are square. Bring those arms nice and wide with those thumbs facing back. If you care to, you can lift your head toward the ceiling. And bring your knee back. That's it. Four stretches, standing stretches. These are great to do every hour if you find yourself constantly hunched over a keyboard. Julie Miller from Premier Fitness. Thanks for stretching with me. Have a great day. Bye.